I've always been curious about my family history. Who were my ancestors? What did they do for a living? So last year, I partnered with my heritage to find out about the people in my family tree, and it was really fascinating. It's fascinating how little I really knew. They found information dating back to the 1800s. Take a look. We have a photo of your great-great-grandfather on your father's side. His name is Pascal Rice. Now, wait a minute. This is my great-great-grandfather. That is your great-great-grandfather on your father's side. Now, he was born in 1826, and he actually fought in the Mexican War. Well, he looks kind of a little kind of like me, I guess. And we also learned that you have a very impressive family tree because we found out that you are the 11th cousin three times removed of President George H.W. Bush. Really? Yes. That is an impressive wow. family tree. All right, joining me once again is Yvette Corcoran, a consultant with MyHeritage. So welcome back, Yvette. Hi, great hey. to be back. Thank well, you so much. You guys have kept digging. I understand you have even more information, and right. I am hungry to hear about it. First of all, let me tell you about that MyHeritage is the world's leading website for discovering family history. Millions of users around the world use MyHeritage to go on and learn more about their ancestors like you did, Dr. Phil, and it's super easy to do. It is easy. And Robin also learned you, you got into it as well. Yes, I found that to be so meaningful. I really, truly felt like you took me back put me in the room with my entire family and allowed me to meet every one of them. I loved it. I was astounded how much you found out of how little I had to do. It really is super easy. So using their powerful technology, MyHeritage actually does the searching for you. They make it super easy for anyone, anywhere, to go in and start clicking in and discovering their family history and ancestors like you and Robin have done. I just log in, everything comes up, and I can click on a relative in my family tree and learn about their jobs, where they've lived, and a whole lot more. So I've been, I've actually been doing this. It's kind of fascinating, and I, I look up and 30 minutes has gone by. Really fascinated with it. Well, last time we were here, we talked to you about your grandpa, Joe McGraw. This is your right. grandpa on your dad's side. We showed you the 1910 census, where right. he stated that he was working as a wagon driver in a feed store. Right. There it is right there. You can see it. That's right. the 1910 census. We then find that in 1920, he was working as a farmer. And now let's head over to the 1940 census where we find him. He has changed careers once again. This time your grandpa Joe says that he's working as a meat cutter in a meat store. Did you know your grandpa was a butcher? Oh, hell no. <laughs> so he was a butcher? He was a butcher, among other things. But you can really learn so much by these documents, because just from looking at the census, he also declared that in 1939, he worked a total of 52 weeks, but he also said that he earned a total of $840 for the year. I told you we were poor. <laughs> So let's see if there's more luck on another branch of your family tree. Now we're going to go back five generations to your great, great, great grandfather. His name was William Russell. Now, William, we know he was born in 1794 in North Carolina, but there really wasn't very much information about his life. We did, however, find something really interesting about his death. We found a document after his death that showed all the property that was sold off after he died. In this, you can see that they sold off one table, seven chairs, two axes, a shotgun, a washing bin, and a whole bunch of livestock, including red heifer and calves and pigs, for a grand total of $41.93. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You're kidding me. I'm not kidding you. William had a son, and his name was Samuel. He is your great-great-grandfather. Samuel married a woman named Sarah Ann. She, of course, is your great-great-grandmother. And look at this beautiful photo that we found. That's your great-great-grandmother there in the green box. Have you ever seen a photo of her before? No, I never even knew she existed. She's there pictured with the rest of the family, and that photo was taken around 1877. Let's go back to Grandpa Joe McGraw. Last time we showed you his 1917 World War I draft registration document. Right. We have learned that service to this country runs on both sides of your family because your mother's father, your maternal grandfather, also served. Now, we found his World War I draft registration document. His name is John Stevens, and that mm. is it right there. It states that he was 30 years old when he registered. He was working as a farmer on his father-in-law's farm, says that he had blue eyes, black hair, and was tall and slender. Yeah, now him I knew. You did. Because that was my grandfather, and he was like six foot 11. Yes, very tall. And oh, my, wow. And my grandmother was 4'10". Yes. <laughs> Seriously. Yes. 6'11 and 4'10". <laughs> and, and when I introduced Robin to my grandmother, you remember what she said? 
why do you want to marry a little old tiny thing like that for? <laughs> yeah, she's 4'10", asked me, why do I want to marry a little old thing like that? Are you kidding me? So once again, I am amazed and fascinated with all of this information that my heritage has found out about my family history. Right now, my heritage has a special offer just for my viewers. Uh, if you go to myheritage.com slash Dr. Phil, you can begin a 14-day free trial and get 50% off of a subscription. Do it, and you'll unlock all of the My Heritage advanced features and easily make amazing discoveries about your family like I've done. Thank you for Good bringing job. me all Thank this information. Thank you so much for it's having a, me. It's a ball. Thank you.